Dr. Tyson, uh, we're talking about the health care authority. Yeah. You took issue with, I guess, you not being on the board and uh, the county manager Tony Catellis being on that board in right. place of, of you. Talk to us about why you, why you disagree with that appointment. Well, you know, it's just that good old boy network uh, in full force. Uh, they actually need people on that board that's going to go along with their ag agenda. They have destroyed Cooper Green as a hospital. Then they turn around and they ran it in the ground as a clinic. They are not concerned about the poor people that's sick in this county. And we were looking toward a transition period. Uh, our CFO is necessarily needs to be there because we're transferring monies. Uh, the county manager has handled the day-to-day -day transition of this county manager's office. So they need to be involved in the transition also. Uh, Commissioner Knight has been there working with uh, the transition of, of Cooper Green since 2010. Okay. And in order to fulfill that mission, where we're changing Cooper Green, and this is the last last stage, in order to, to fulfill that and to have congruency with the board moving forward, that, that was the reasoning uh, for this. Put my name forth um, early uh, in this venture, that I would like to serve on that health care authority should one ever come to fruition. Uh, it has, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that uh, my commissioners have nominated me to be on that board, to sit on that board. Uh, as you know, I'm a former registered nurse. I'm a former registered nurse anesthetist. I've been on the other side. I know, I understand Commissioner Tyson raised the issue of the employees, and I, I, I've been on that side too. So I think I got a little bit of a, a understanding of what they'll be uh, experiencing from the provider side. Um, but also, um, you know, since since... I became elected, we have had the uh, premonition that, you know, we can do it better. How can we do it better? And we've fought, done several attempts. Um, and it, I think this will be, be provide an avenue that we can give the very best care uh, by the entity that's most capable of running a health care authority uh, and providing those patients with the care that they need. But more importantly, I think it gives us an avenue to follow up when somebody gets sick and goes to an emergency room. Uh, then that there will be assurance that, look, we're going to follow up with that and get them to a, a doctor and to see why they had to go to that emergency room so that, you know, we can address whatever it is that precipitated that ER visit. And I think that would help uh, in the long run, you know, cut down on some of our ER visits. Um, UAB is one of the premier healthcare providers in the nation. I'm, I'm very proud to be part of, or selected to be part of this um, healthcare authority, and I'll, I'll do my very best to serve on it. There's no doubt that Commissioner Tyson, who chairs uh, the Cooper Green Committee, should have been appointed. I do have a concern. I've always voiced that uh, UAB uh, has to approve uh, our directors, and based upon what I've been hearing, this, this is an example of what that looks like. Uh, everyone uh, went and they fought for those committees that they perceived and know that they could make a difference. And we voted on it. We had an organizational chart. And Commissioner Tyson was appointed to be the chair of Cooper Green. The unfortunate reality today is that what I saw was that there were what I believe to be politics that were played. And that was the reason why I spoke up. I do feel that Commissioner Tyson deserves a position on that board, and uh, it will be my recommendation, my nomination uh, at the end of the of the first term to to place her on that board. But I feel that it, it is important during the transition period to have that congruency, the people that have been here. Uh, from from day one in order to move move the county forward and to make sure we have the best opportunity and chance for success. 
this has been something we've been working on since I've been here. Um, and as, as she says that she's an advocate for the patient, I believe her 100%. Uh, she does chair that health care authority, I mean that uh, health committee. Uh, but as a commissioner, um, she hasn't seen all of the uh, things that we have had to deal with here from the county. But, yeah, I, I certainly think she deserves to be on that committee also. Mr. Patelis has been, he's been working on this for, for quite a while. He's been, he's been the, the one that's been working with the health care, UAB people, and getting this to fruition. So, you know, I can also see the argument that he should be on there at least to complete the transition. We all had an opportunity to put in for our committees, the committees that we wanted to sit on at, at the county. No one wanted Cooper Green because of the problems it was having. No one wanted community development, workforce development. Those are the, the, the grunt committees. They had an opportunity to sit on those committees just like I did. I got all the grunt committees that I can actually help poor people and encourage and, and uplift the, the poor people here in Jefferson County. They had that opportunity too, but they didn't want it. But they want to control the energy care money that comes through this county. And that's how they set the board up to where they can control all of the funding. 